Hey guys, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do a search and replace on your website, uh, specifically a WordPress site. If you were to search Google for a search and replace, um, you're going to find the plugin options and some other software out there. What we're going to use today is the interconnected software. Um, you need to have access to your, your root folder on your website. And if you don't, I recommend using or trying one of the front end uh, plugin features for WordPress. Um, but if you can get access to your root folder and you're a little bit familiar with some of these uh, changes on your website, I recommend the interconnected search and replace database um, developer tool. And what you're going to do is uh, you'll go over to you see here it's the fourth down on the Google search. And you'll go to the page, scroll down. You'll have to fill out your name and user, um, your email. You'll need the organization. And then uh, it'll email you the files. From there, you can download the files to your folder. And we'll pick it up where the files are here um, in my downloads folder. And clicking in, I'm going to want, obviously, the, the inner folder. And we'll copy that. This is going to be a local, uh, local install on my computer. But if you were doing it on FTP, uh, very much the same. You will go to your FTP site. You'll FTP into your site and go into your public, be public HTML. I'm going to be going to my local WAMP install. Um, instead of public HTML, I have www. And instead of being right in the public HTML, I have one more step here locally. But you'll be inside your public HTML and next to your WordPress file, core WordPress files here. And you can paste that in here and then also change the name of it. Um, you can kind of garble the name for security reasons or keep it simple because we're gonna we're gonna link directly through to that folder in the browser. So once you have that paste it in. We'll go to the browser and we'll go into that folder. And it'll bring us to the, the software install here. Um, many reasons to use this software for sites as far as if you are, let me click back over, if you are um, Developing a site or just bringing it live, you might want to just. I'm going to go to the WordPress install here for um, visual purposes. You might want you might want to change your HTTPS um, your site over to HTTPS. You might be going from a dev version to a live version, removing the dev. Um, so any assortment of reasons you can you can use this search and replace for. We're just going to do a simple test here. Um, this uh, this basic uh, WordPress install with a sample page. And I just uh, found a keyword here we can isolate out to, to do a test on. So we'll just change Los Angeles here on the sample page. Um, so whether it's the text in the page or it's part of the URL, anything uh, working with the database, it's going to search and replace. And so we'll come back to the replace with, and we'll just change. We'll change the spelling a little bit, something simple. Go ahead and do a dry run, and looks like there's. Two changes here in the WP post table. 
can click on those um, multiple places in that post there. So once once you've seen where you're changing and what you're changing before you get um, going on to the actual changes, just check out, make sure everything's, you're not throwing errors or anything like that. Um, then you can go ahead and do the live run. This is actually going through the, your whole database and making those changes. And if we go back over to the page, and we're looking for that to be spelled different. And there, there it is. So again, a, a great way to change um, you know, HTTPSs, HTTPs to HTTPSs, um, take a dev site live, you know, especially things working with the URL or just doing a find and change. Recently, we had a site where um, the images were not HTTPS and we had to add in the security, um, the S to the, the URLs on, on a whole site. So there we just, um, we used we used it where we, we grabbed the whole domain, anything with the HTTPS and, or anything without the HTTPS and then changed it over. And um, this is a, a hands-on way where you can securely do it. Uh, and a reliable software. Again, if you aren't familiar with working in the root folder of your website, definitely recommend trying out one of the plugin options. Um, it's just you're not going to have that direct access to your to your database like this software gives you. So, once you're done, immediately, as recommended on the site, it's going to tell you down here, you know, install it with your core WordPress files. Um, and then once you do the search and replace, they're going to recommend that you delete, delete the file immediately, just to keep, keep any open, um, uh, any open pass or malware or anything to get in and close. So we'll just delete that right away. And we're back secure again. All right, guys, this uh, has been a quick tutorial. And um, stay tuned for more. <laughs>